What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I hope you like this video. This is your review for The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Season 4, Episode 14. We are still in Bermuda. It is Monica's birthday. The ladies all got up to decorate. They're talking about what happened the night before between Whitney and Lisa and um, Heather. Um, Whitney comes out, and her and Heather make up. Whitney apologizes for cussing at Heather. Heather tells her, don't do it again, okay? They hug it out, okay? Monica comes out. The ladies all say happy birthday. She's all excited. She crying. I've never, you know, like, you know, I've never been treated like this before. My birthday, this is so great. Thank you, ladies. This is so wonderful. And I was just like, mm, okay, girl. Now, let me go ahead and tell y'all something right now before I go any deeper into this re review. If you are a Monica Stan, you're going to probably not like this review, but I still love you anyway. And you can feel free to respectfully disagree with me in the comments. But I got some things to say, okay? The other thing I had that was going on, the other thing that was bothering me that was going on in this um, episode, there was a whole, lot of, uh, a whole lot of assumptions made and a whole lot of... Uh, 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 um, leaps being made, okay? People was taking inches and, make them, and making them miles, okay? But either way, Monica um, tells the ladies that the plan for the day, well, they make her queen for the day, you know? Um, they make Heather queen for, I mean, Heather makes her queen for the day. So she tells the ladies that her mother wanted to come on a trip, but she couldn't come on a trip, that her mother flaked out on therapy. She was supposed to be in therapy together, and then her mother didn't even show up, okay? We find out that the ladies are going to be hanging out a little bit, but then they are going to take, they're going to be hanging out at the house because Monica is going to go off to meet her family that she hasn't seen in 30 years. Uh, later on in the episode, we see Monica as Lisa to go with her. Now, look, I understand that y'all made up and everything, but literally two weeks ago, or however long ago it was, child, y'all was still at each other's throats, fussing and cussing. Y'all done ruined uh, uh, Whitney's whole situation. And I thought it was really interesting that out of all those ladies there, the person you chose to go and experience such a private moment with you was Lisa. And of course, Lisa said, okay. I mean, what was she supposed to say? Like, hell no, girl, I don't want to hang out with you. But she agreed to go, you know, was what it was. So... The other thing that they talk about with her and Lisa, while her and Lisa are having this conversation, is that they're talking about... Monica tells Lisa about these DMs that... The, the, the situation with Meredith and the DMs about Angie being in the Greek Mafia, so forth and so on. Now, let me tell y'all something. And y'all can get me together in the comments because, honestly, I'm just going to repeat it the way I understood it. In last week's, and I wish I still had last week's episode in my DVR so I could rewind to that part. I ain't got time to be going into On Demand and doing all through Peacock and stuff and sitting through the commercials and stuff. But I really feel like I remember last week that Monica said that her and Meredith were hanging out they were getting close and that I really felt like she said last week that she brought up the DMs or the, I don't remember I don't know and I don't remember but she ain't make it seem like she said it to Lisa because she was like, you know, me and Meredith were hanging out. I mean, me and Meredith started hanging out and we started getting cool and then maybe she said Meredith brought up the DMs. I don't know. But she didn't make it seem like it was a sinister. Okay, 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 okay. Let me rewind. Let me rewind. Let me rewind. Last week, she made it seem like her and Meredith had been hanging out and they had this conversation spontaneously about these rumors that they were hearing and these weird DMs that they were getting, right? The way she made it seem like to Lisa was that Meredith sought her out. Meredith gave her this information and then Meredith was, was like, oh, yeah, by the way... Did you get these DMs? Check your DMs. I got these weird DMs in my Instagram. Then Monica said something that I don't believe. She was like, I don't get DMs about anybody on the show. I don't believe that because, hell, I get DMs about people on the show. And I don't even do nothing but review the show, much less be on the show. I refuse to believe that people wasn't in your inbox leaving you crazy information. They do it all the time. 
Now, yes, it was a dummy account. And by the end of this episode, they did make it sound really bad. It didn't sound good for Meredith, okay? It did sound like Meredith might be out here sending people dummy information from a dummy um, IG account. We know what happened with Jen Shaw because I came up at the reunion. But remember, Jen blamed Lisa, which I find to be very interesting, Lisa Barlow, that you were so quick to be jumping down Meredith and acting like Meredith was the worst thing ever when Jen Shaw accused you of doing the exact same thing down to the reunion two seasons ago. That there was these dummy um, um, IG accounts and they accused you of the one spreading information. So let's be clear. Meredith ain't the first person that has been accused of spreading false information down to the Salt Lake City situation. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. And y'all ain't got to like me and that's fine. Or, well, y'all ain't got to like what I'm saying. I don't know. It ain't that personal. I think Monica did it. Monica made it seem like Meredith was using her. I think Monica might have been using Meredith. But we're going to get to that. We'll get deeper to that later on in this episode. But she's telling Lisa, and she's leading Lisa down the road she wants Lisa to go to because she knows Lisa is already feeling some kind of way about Meredith. You know, their, their, their reconciliation of their relationship is a little shaky, and she already feeling some kind of way. So I honestly feel like, I don't think it was Meredith. Now, I could be wrong, child. I could be wrong. Lord knows I could be wrong. But I don't think Meredith did it. But we'll get to, child, I'm jumping all ahead of myself. But anyway, so she had this conversation with Lisa, right? And again, the way she made it seem like was that Meredith called her and sought her out to have this conversation about Angie. And then miraculously, she gets these text messages to support all the things that Meredith said to her, right? The bankruptcy documents and all of that. So they all get dressed. They're going down to jet ski and they're all on the, the van and they're riding along and Meredith is talking about her daughter, how her daughter is living her best life. She was like, yeah, she's got a Benz. She goes to sound, you know, she goes to school in Santa Monica. She's in a sorority. She's down at the beach every day. And I just love it for her that she is just enjoying her life and living her best life. So Monica going to say, is she having sex? that question first of all why would you where is that who does that like i'm what and heather was like girl i'm not gonna sit here and discuss my daughter's sex life like that's not and monica act like she was offended by it and was like well i mean you said you're a bad mormon are you a bad mormon or not girl you asked her about her daughter's sex life. Now, let's be clear. Heather, she's not so much now. I think she's sort of calmed down a little bit. Maybe she understands how things play out when, you know, in the public. But in that first season and a half, baby, Heather was in heat. And remember Heather slept with the black man and, 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 and we never saw him again. And Jen hooked her up with another black man, a football player. Like, Heather has been very transparent about that she hot in the pants, okay? She has talked about her sex life. But I 100% understand why she is not talking about her daughter. That is her daughter's sex life. First of all, that's a rude-ass question to ask somebody. And then you're going to get mad that she don't want to answer it. And then later on in the episode, she gonna say she was, uh, Monica gonna say she was sex shamed. Girl, how were you sex shamed? Now, yeah, maybe part of that conversation was edited out and maybe Heather said some things that might have led to that. Because Heather did say something later on about how Monica slept with her. You know, she's like, well, I know how Monica get down. And of course, the, the um, editors, the producer showed us a clip of Monica talking about some she slept with her husband's brother, with her brother-in-law or whatever the situation was. So my thing is, I, I get it. But I just thought that was, I, I didn't understand where the question came from. And I certainly didn't understand why you was mad that she don't want to tell you about her daughter's sex life. Moving right along. Again. So they go out on the jet skis, child. They're having a good time. I mean, it was um, Meredith and Heather and they were the grandmas. We had Whitney and Angie. They were the wild child. And then we had Lisa and... Um, Monica, you know, and they were all having a good time, right? So they get ready to leave. They get on the van, and Monica gets this text message. She starts crying. She runs off the bus. And of, again, of all the people on the bus that follow her to find out what's wrong, Lisa goes. Did nobody else get their ass up to go follow Monica to find out what was going on? The only person that went was Lisa. 
Well, we find out, and here's where, again, we got an assumption being made. Her family doesn't want to see her now, and they've stopped responding to her text messages and all of that. She said, my mom, because what she said was, I think my, well, I believe my mom told them not to meet with me. She has no proof that her mother did anything. Now, let's be clear. I know that her and her mom have a very complicated relationship, and I understand that maybe her mom, do I put it past her mother to do it? No. But you're making a serious assumption that they don't want to see you because your mother called them and asked them not to come. Or ask them not to see you. Whatever the situation is. Do I think your mother could have done that? I absolutely do. Do I think that maybe they didn't want a bunch of cameras in their face. With somebody that they don't know. With a stranger that they've never met. Maybe. I mean it could have just as easily been they didn't want to film with you. Now I mean they could have said that. And then she could have went off and done it you know, privately. And it didn't have to have the cameras there. Again. Do I think that Monica's mother has the capacity to do it? Yes. Am I 100% convinced that Monica's mother did it? No. And I'm just telling y'all the truth. I ain't, Listen, and I know that's a terrible thing to say about somebody. I understand it. But I don't put anything past Monica to create a storyline for herself to solidify her place. I'm sorry. I, I, I know that's a mean thing to say. Um, and I know that y'all, like I said, I know y'all gonna get me in the comments. But I still love y'all anyway. But, but as I was watching it, I wanted to feel sorry for her. I really did because that was an effed up thing. If her mother did do that, that was an effed up thing for her mother to do. But then there's a very large part of me that was sitting here watching it going. I don't know if I believe this. So I'm very conflicted about whether that was really real or not. I'm going to wait and see what her mama got to say tomorrow. Because y'all know her mama watched the show and her mama will tweet. So I'm going to wait and see what her mama say tomorrow. Because I, I just, I don't know. Moving right along. So of course they get on the bus and, you know, Lisa tells them and they have their home moment. And, oh, we feel, oh, I'm so sorry, Monica. That was so terrible of you, Monica. That was so horrible. So they get back to the house and they are sitting by the, it was so funny because they got back to the house and I heard the driver say to them, the house, they've set up chairs for you guys down by the beach and they're going to bring you lunch, right? So they get down there and they were like, Heather, oh my gosh, did you set this up? What did Heather set up? Heather was with y'all all day. Heather didn't set up shit. There was what six or seven beach chairs down by the water with a cooler with fish sandwiches in it and some and some liquor Girl, what, what did it have to do it wasn't no grill out there flipping no ribs and 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 ha what did what did it have to do she asked them people to make a fish sandwich and put it in a cooler and put it down there by the water with a cooler full of chips and soda and water and and champagne that was cracking me up. Oh, Heather, this is so nice. Oh, Heather, you did this? Girl, Heather ain't do shit. Anyway. So, they end up playing Mary F. Kill, which, again, it was cute, but they were playing with each other's husbands, which I was like, why, why are we playing Mary F. Kill with other people's husbands? Anyway, but it was cute. It didn't end in nobody arguing. They laughed. It was a good time. So Lisa and Angie go off and they're matching bathing suits slash bikinis with Sasha. They go off to walk. And that is where Lisa tells Angie what Monica told her that Meredith said. You hear that? You hear how many people that, that went through? So, of course, by the time Lisa tells it to Monica, she's convinced that Meredith absolutely did it. Meredith didn't set up these fake Instagram accounts. Meredith is the one that sent the information. Meredith is trying to expose Angie. She's the, 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 the Greek mafia and all of this above, right? So, of course, Angie already on go because Angie already feels like Meredith has been coming for her anyway. She still ain't over the other, you know, rumors about her husband. So now we're dealing with, with, um, with Heather, I mean, with uh, Meredith now, the uh, Lisa... Angie and Monica got this whole thing going on that Meredith is the one spreading these rumors from a fake Instagram account. And again, it may very well be Meredith. I don't personally think it's Meredith, but it may very well be Meredith. So, of course, 
like I said, Angie's on go. We see Heather talk to her daughter about, you know, just checking in with her, but how she talked about how, you know, uh, Whitney, I mean, uh, Monica asked about her sex life and how she's like, yeah, that's just off limits. I'm not going to talk about that. We see Whitney finally reading the book Bad Mormon Child down by the water. And then we see Angie go and talk to Monica about what Lisa told her about what Monica said to her that Meredith had done or said. So, of course, Monica says, yeah, you know, that's what happened. And, um, you know, I didn't tell Lisa this, but, you know... Meredith actually called me and told me to check my DMs. And I just thought that was very suspicious. So now Monica add more shit to the sauce to give to Angie to continuously to, to add to the story to build the whole thing up, right? And Angie was like, well, you know, I feel like Meredith, I feel like Meredith is using you to try to spread these rumors. And Lisa was like, it's just like with my SEC filing last year. It's the same thing she did. You know, with uh, with the SEC filing, you know, this information was floating around. Now, that did, like I said, Lisa did make a case. Now, I ain't saying I necessarily agree with everything Lisa said, but Lisa made a case, okay? She did make a case for why Meredith could possibly be guilty. So, the ladies get dressed. They're having a pirate-themed um party and they're going to this restaurant that's actually you got to go through a cave and in the water now let me tell you something that restaurant looked gorgeous and i would actually wouldn't mind eating someplace like that but i feel like the rest of the restaurant should have absolutely let them ladies know what kind of shoes to wear because they was trying to walk down that damn plank and them stiletto ass heels now the restaurant may have said that information and either the ladies maybe didn't didn't listen didn't believe it or didn't care because I refuse to believe that the restaurant doesn't have some sort of, I mean, the way they was walking down that hill, first it was steps, then it was a plank, then they had to walk through a cave, then they had to walk down another plank. I thought, I, I refuse to believe that restaurant didn't tell them ladies how to dress. But okay, neither here nor there. It was a cute restaurant. So they sit down to eat, and Monica says, well... Even though I felt sex shamed earlier, I wanted to ask a question. Let's play a game. When's the last time everybody had sex? Now, sorry, I'm sorry. They go around the table and basically everybody is talking about the last time they had sex with their husband, right? Oh, right before we left for the trip. Right before we left for the trip. Well, Seth went on a business trip so before he left for the trip. So Heather was like, yeah, I'm not answering that question. And Monica was like, you hate it when people don't play your game and you don't want to play my game. Heather was like, I answered your question. Well, what did you say? She said, I answered your question by telling you that I'm not telling you the last time I had sex. Now, listen, it may not be the answer you want, but she did answer you. So Monica gets upset and Heather was like, listen, I'm the only single person here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me put a pin in that. Monica called her daughter and told her daughter all about how the mama intervened with her being able to see her family in Barbados. Okay. But Monica was like, I mean, Heather said, listen, I think that's an unfair question because, you know, by me answering that, by me being the only single person here, me answering that question sort of puts my business out there as far as what I'm doing sexually. Like if I say I had sex right before we left and people go, she didn't say all this, but in my mind, I'm like, yeah, if she said, said, oh, I had sex right before we left, then everybody going to be wondering who she's dealing with, who she's dating, who she's having sex with. If she said it was six months ago, it's like, oh, my gosh, it's been six months. So I get it. Like, I understand why Heather didn't want to answer the question. So then Monica was like, I'm single, too. What do you mean? You're not the only single one here. Monica says... Only reason why I'm still married, she said, I'm div I, she said, I am in the process of going through a divorce. And the only reason why I'm still married is because he won't sign the paperwork. Girl, you still married. Like, it doesn't matter how in your mind you feel like you're not married anymore. It doesn't even matter if y'all been separated, living separate lives. Girl, you still married. Now, I get what you're trying to say. She said, if I want to have sex with somebody today, I can do that. Girl, but you would still be married. 
Heather is the only person there that doesn't have a legal husband. Now, you might not be with your husband. You and your husband might not have sex. But, girl, you married. So, they get into that argument. And Heather was like, girl, I'm not answering that question. I mean, you, you keep saying what you want to say, but keep it moving because I'm not answering that question. So, it's real quiet and, you know, tense. So, then Angie going to say, well, I'm going to take the spotlight off of y'all for a second. Meredith. I'm really, and, and here's what pissed me off about the way Angie handled it was, instead of saying, Meredith, listen, it's come to my attention that you are still trying to spread these rumors about me. You are sending DMs, you're doing this, you're doing that. She don't give Meredith no sort of leeway. Baby, she just starts cussing Meredith out. Meredith, I don't appreciate you out here still sending, spreading, uh, spreading rumors about me and telling people lies about me. You're saying that I'm in the mafia. You're saying that, and M Meredith was like, girl, I don't know what you're talking about. Now, Meredith, here's what I don't like that you do. You play word games, and when you play word games, it, it, it takes away from your argument whether it's valid or not. So, Meredith, I mean, so Angie says, you never called anybody in this group and told them that I'm in the Greek mafia and told them that I filed bankruptcy. Meredith was like, no. She said, I never called anybody in this group and told them. And see, Meredith is playing word games because maybe you did not tell them in your mind. Maybe you just said, hey, girl, did you get that information? Hey, girl, did you hear this rumor? In her mind, she's saying, I didn't tell anybody. So, of course, Monica chimes in and Monica's like, girl, you lying. You called me and you told me da 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 And Meredith was like, I did not tell you anything so now i'm like okay meredith that's not looking good because i want to believe you girl i want to believe you but that ain't a good look because i feel like you're playing word games and i don't like that i don't like when people play word games just come right out and be like yep i had this conversation with monica but i was asking her did she get the same information that i got about you that's what i was asking her so of course it turns into this big ass argument between monica angie meredith and um lisa now, Heather and Whitney sort of stay out of it. One, because I don't think they even knew what the hell was going on. And two, I don't think they knew what the hell was going on. But they got to arguing, and Meredith is, like, defending herself. And she's like, Lisa's t yelling at her, talking about, I'm sick of this. Stop doing this. Stop spreading these rumors. Stop telling this thing. Stop doing it. Stop doing that. Meredith was like, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do anything. I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not understanding the problem. I don't know where this is coming from. Like, she just stuck to that. And it was very frustrating because, like I said, I honestly do not believe Meredith created a fake Instagram account to send information. Do I believe that that's some of the information that Meredith had? Maybe. Do I believe, because honestly, I really think that the information Meredith had was the first rumor about the girl husband. But I don't know. But do I think that Meredith is messy behind the scenes? I do. I, I do. But I don't know if I believe that Meredith did this. But I think because Meredith has a reputation for doing these types of things, I think that's the part of the problem and why she caught up. I don't know. Maybe I want to believe Meredith ain't do it. I don't know. Uh, but again, do I think Meredith is messy? Yes. That is a full stop. Yes. Because we saw her do it with Jen Shaw. We saw her do it with Mary. We saw her do it with Lisa. So, I mean, we, we know she has the capacity. But I don't understand why what she's doing is any different than what the rest of these ladies do. Yeah, we're going to forget that Whitney had done the whole breakdown on what Jen Shaw did. And did. When they were on that Sprinter van, when Jen Shaw got arrested before they even knew what the charges were. Are we going to sit here and forget that Whitney had the whole fucking breakdown and her... And her um. Uh, on that van about what Jen Shaw did and how it was illegal. Like, why are we sitting here acting like that all the ladies don't be talking their shit and spreading their spreading rumors? Meredith ain't the only one that be doing it. And like I said, Jen Shaw accused Lisa of creating a fake dummy account. Hell, remember last season? Uh, the other Angie's husband created a whole Instagram account. He admitted he did it. I don't know, y'all. It's just a whole lot. But anyway, that's pretty much what happened, child. They... They, they, that's where the episode, is that where the episode ended? I feel like that's where the episode ended with them arguing 
and them getting up from the dinner table and heading back to the hotel, child. Anyway, let me know what y'all, I mean, the, the house. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.